So, hauled out to a no heat call. Let's see, it's 59 in the house. I got it set to 63. It was set higher, but it wouldn't keep the temperature. Let's see what we can do. See why these strip heats are not engaged. Sure they're not running. They are. They're pulling 45 amps. You'd think that would heat the house up. Yeah, it's running. I heard a little bit of a click when I took off the door, I think. So I hope I didn't just slap it into work. Got a uh, Sequencer, not a contactor. But yeah. She's pulling 45 amps, and that's probably a 10k dub. Yep. No, oh, that's just fire side. Let's see. Here she is. Amps, 36. That's perfect. Seven and a half to 10, 10k dub. So 10k dub should have over. Um, 30,000 BTUs heat, but I don't know. This house, I would say, is 1,500 square feet, but that's that's a they used that master cover up their sims there, didn't they? That metal, no, that's duck board too. I should not have done that. That's spongy duck board. But that, that's the all right, so we put the temperature probes in with him in. It's getting a 30 degree temperature difference. It's got a 10KW and it's about 1500 square feet. So I'm pretty sure when I opened the door, it just charred the sequencer into working. So it was 59 degrees in there, but it does have a fault code out here and it's not running it at all. So let's see what that fault code is. We got one on, two on. Red on. Oh, low pressure lockout. Mm, not great. Let's see. All right, sitting pressures. Turn this thing on, see what she does. Or not. I guess that test pin doesn't reset the code. Or do I have to? Night works. You just gotta actually move that that jumper that they have on there. That is something else. Let's see a rattler and a shaker. Off of the balances. Well, as you can tell how how much that joke is shaking or not, but she is. All right, there's the culprit. Got a bunch of ice built up on the fans. Once we get that melted off there with hot water. All right, back. as we were sitting here, the Joker kicked out with a treble code. It says coil sensor problem. I'm going to place that coil sensor, and I believe it's bought just like a year or two ago, so, uh, we'll investigate. All right, getting that ice off, I stopped the shimmy. Now, oh, and that code, I was just being a dum-dum before, it was a slow flash, which I always do this. Alternating slow flash is a five minute delay. Alternating fast flash is the coil sensor issue. But I tested the coil sensor and it is closed, so we should be able to put this thing in the defrost. I mean, just off rip, we're just starting up. I ain't terribly mad at it, especially as fast as that size coming up. I do want to test defrost though. So let's try. All right, so we're back. Um, the defrost board was not wanting to defrost, so we went ahead, 
got him a new one put that joker on she's flashing away running our new pressures uh, they just turned on we'll see what happens it's about 31 degrees out here been using this has been up over top of the the outdoor fan oh it's warming up pretty quick don't judge me that's a meat thermometer i'm just seeing how it works got it for christmas and i figured i'd do more work than, than grilling right now than this season so we'll see we'll see if that works for ambient temperature but right now it seems to be fairly accurate um, when i match it up with the one on the field piece all right let's go for a defrost cycle see if she's going to defrost this time test her out there we go she would not stay there we go put it back on 90 she would not stay in the defrost last time it would like it would switch over and switch right back and the sensor was was closed i even jumped it out and did the same thing in case you were wondering if i just had an open defrost sensor i did not there she goes oh yeah you see that temperature rise that'd be a pretty nifty little tool there if it had a magnet it still is you got a little timer on there don't know what i'm gonna use that for yet though yeah defrosting nicely temperature rising just from the radiant heat coming off that coil there we go beautiful all right so these pressures look pretty good normally when i don't have a heat chart i just go off rules of thumb like it's 65 in there um normally want that to 30 to 40 degrees above room temperature and that's right there at uh, 38 um, this number over here I like to see at 15 to 20 degrees below outdoor temperature which it's it's uh, 30 degrees out here right now so that's also good my temperature difference is good if I can get my phone out I'll show you got a beautiful 32 degree Delta T now my turn temp's only 58 degrees, good night living. It's cold in there. They ain't been staying at this house today. So they've been fine, but. Yep, everything's looking good. Maybe a smidge high charge, maybe. But I ain't gonna take none out with this unit being, you know, running fine. I saw there's dye in the system, so they probably haven't had a leak in the past, so we're gonna leave that in there. 